Leg and Greg Vegan Camp, 1st of August 2019. Although it uh, should have been heavy rains during July, then you can see that even this, this looked like an avocado one month ago. Now it's completely almost dried out. So it has been a very, very dry, rainy season. One lung entry. And another lung entry. A little bit more longan, and these longans should be ripe during August here. Protection of the fok tong. And the fok tong is a pumpkin. They sprouted inside the compost pile, so let's see if maybe there were like there was like more moisture compacted into the compost compared to other areas. So they probably had access to more water, and maybe they will give more fruit. Let's see what happens, and also other nutrients, of course. And an avocado tree that didn't dry out. Wow. And the extra storage is getting attacked by termites everywhere, so it's not so good. Termite stuff. We've been away on holiday, so uh, when you come back after a holiday and you see all this, it's pretty scary. But maybe it's only on the surface. Hopefully it will not be eaten all, all, all the way through. Avocado almost dying, but it seems like it's still alive, so it's good. We have beans growing. Bananas. Bananas are coming, so even though it's very dry. So these bean plants have been planted all the way down among the banana palms and mango trees. And they seem to be quite sturdy and they are like thriving almost, even though it's dry. Neighbors growing corn for starch. My little uh, jackfruit project did not succeed, it seems. I think all these will die if they're not already dead. Wow, a little pumpkin. This was planted like months ago or something. In this area you can see that this is still a bit green and this is like grass cut and on the other side you can see the neighbors growing mangoes and you can see the difference in the, how the weeds are being treated over there. Oh and we have chilies. So ready for spicy food. The beans are just doing so much better here compared to the, the pumpkin. I mean, maybe this is the last year I'm doing heavy pumpkin planting because unless there's a lot of rain, maybe more beans. They seem to be much more qualified for this soil. Bananas ready to get harvested. As you can see, there is one yellow there. That means I can harvest it all. Same goes for this. There is a banana. I need to harvest this also. And up there also some yellow ones. neighboring soil oh, date palm they like the dry but still they get like some things on here and a very nice little longan tree with a lot of longan the little durian fortress here the pakat dam survived we have a lot of pakat dam the wasabi thai kale i call it wasabi thai kale because it's thai kale it's a thai kale that is spicy and it resembles wasabi a lot so I don't know how they made it, but like nature made it, so it was like, whoa! And we have the sweet uh, corn to eat for raw eating. A single seed was one baht, so it was like very precious. Oh, and the little papaya trees so are giving quite nice fruit here. So here's a patch of uh, these are the, the the sweet corn, and this is the asparagus. You can see it's like it looks very not asparagusy, more like a dill or something. And and but here you can see that this resembles more an asparagus. 
asparagus just keeps shooting out from the soil. And when you buy the white asparagus, that means that they have put soil, a lot of soil on top and the asparagus doesn't go out into the sunlight and it stays white. So if you buy white asparagus, it means it's been covered in soil, hasn't turned green because it never have seen uh, sunlight. Is it good or bad? I don't know. Maybe it's just because there's a different taste between the green one and the white one. And I, th I feel like I feel better when I eat the green ones. So, but maybe there is a premium to get for on the market if you cover them up and sell them as a white asparagus. It's like a delicacy. Some people really like the the white asparagus. But your pee will smell very bad, even the green one. But I think that the the white one gives you even more smelly pee. But maybe that's just I need to test more if uh, I need to give a more proper discussion about this topic. That's sweet corn coming up, that's nice. And the super advanced scarecrow. And the round apple banana, this starts. Cr the cracks are not so good because it won't, won't ripen up. If I could remove it easily, I would, but I might damage something inside, so I don't, I will just leave it. But this one is just like, it will not give have any value unless it is like food for insects and compost and stuff like that but like for human food this is not so good another round one not quite ready for harvesting first passion fruits are coming falling down from the plant maybe in a couple of weeks there will be more edible passion fruits. This is a cactus. This is the the flower of dragon fruit and this is the dragon fruit itself. Small dragon fruits coming and this is the dragon fruit flower developing even more. So this is like this is already flowered and this will become the fruit. Also a nice little one here. And the same with the flower and the fruit itself. And these are actually quite sturdy. They can they can dry out, they will shoot roots from anywhere and you can break them, just put them in the soil and they will grow. And they can dry out in one area like this and still have green, or well, maybe this will die. But I mean, it's super sturdy. It, uh, look at this one, it's just like almost half of it is just like dead, but it still has a long, long stem almost going down to the ground. So, yeah, I don't know how this plant does it, but these cactus cactus plants are so so amazing. I've been fascinated with cactus since I was a young kid. Always wanted to grow cactus. It's because you don't need to water it so much. <laughs> Passion fruit. There's like a little fly or a little wasp or whatever and it's just laying eggs inside the papaya. It's not so good. I need to harvest that one and just maybe leave it to, for tomorrow. Then it will soften up and I can eat it. These little guys. Guava. They smell much better than they taste. What is your opinion about eating guava seeds? Some people say it's very bad for you. Pineapple was forgotten before we went on holiday. Sad. Now it's just eaten by. It's hanging there, dying, feeding the the bugs. And there are a lot of birds here. I was just like wondering what are the birds doing here. They're just like having a bird party with the bananas. 